In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a countdown timer to your live stream. Hey folks, this is AJ, the CEO. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So in a previous video and on some of my other videos, I made a collection of countdown timers that you can get from my website completely for free. Now I just want to walk you through how to actually add those into your live stream. So I'm going to do this in OBS first. So let's go ahead and cut over to the computer. All right, I am here in OBS and my pre-service uh, scene here. And I just have some background music playing with a little welcome message to whoever is going to be waiting for our stream to start. So this is really simple to do. We're going to come in here to our sources and we're going to add a media source. And you can call this countdown. And this is important for the settings if you want this to work. First, it is a local file. We do not want to loop it because we don't want when it gets to countdown, it gets to zero for it to start all over again. We do not want it to restart anytime we click on this scene. You want the video to play through it in its entirety once it starts. So if you switch over to another scene and you come back to this, the countdown will still keep going. Um, if you have a GPU, inside your computer go ahead and check off use hardware decoding it doesn't hurt and show nothing when the playback ends that way it just goes away and those are all the settings so let's go to our browse and we're gonna go ahead and navigate to our timer I have a five minute and a 15 minute but either one of these will work I'll just go with the five minute timer for right now let's open that and Okay, now I did all these timers in 4K, so that's why they're super big. So what we want to do is just right click on here, transform and fit to screen. And we're going to make this even smaller. But now that we got this to screen, let's go ahead and get rid of the green first. Now let's right click on our countdown source. Now we're going to go to filters. And under the filter, under effect filters, we're going to click the plus and we're gonna add a chroma key. Click OK, and there's no settings that need to be changed with this. It just removes the green. Let's go ahead and close that, and as you can see, there's our text, but it's too big. So now, let's resize this by just clicking on one of those handles to the size that you want it to be, and I'm gonna put it right here in this field here, right in the corner, and then I'm gonna lock it. Now, because we added the scene, that's why it's already been counting down. So if I go ahead and like click away to our live here to my camera, my webcam, and then come back, as you can see, the timer is still going. doesn't matter what we click away to, it's still counting down. The only way this will be reset is if we close the entire program and open it back up. And that's on purpose because we, again, we don't want this timer to start all over again. So if we close this and let's open it back up again. As you see, it started right back over. So I hope that helps. Really, really simple to use. And I will have a link in the description where you can get all of these countdowns, I go from one hour all the way down to about 10 seconds, um, and they're free to use. Just get them from ajhomes.com, and the link is in the description. And that's about it. If you like this type of content, I would appreciate a like, consider subscribing, and click that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ, and we will see you on the next video. Later.